Hey, hey, and welcome to the Respected Man podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in today and listening to this episode. We have a special guest. He's one of my friends. I've known him for years. His name is Will Armijo, and he is owns a company called Nourish, and it's a holistic health and wellness company. And um, I'm just so excited for him to talk to you guys today about sexual health and wellness and how what you put in your mouth affects how you think, act, feel every single day of your life. So, I mean, what could be more exciting than talking about food and sex, right? Hey, <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> everybody's thinking about it, right? Everybody's thinking about it, whether they say it, whether they voice it, everybody, that's human nature. That's part of the human body. We're all thinking about it and we all want to optimize it. I don't know one person that wants to make it, make it bad. Right? So, one, like, like sex brings you, makes you, it's birth. It make, brings you alive and food keeps you alive. <laughs> I mean, we should be thinking about food and sex. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will. I've known you for years now. And when I, I think when I met you, you were doing something in the fitness world and you were transitioning into, I am willpowered or maybe, right. And then yep. you went into nourish. Tell us a little bit about your journey. Yep. Yep. So I, um, all this, I'll, I'll sum it all up for everybody, but, um, I, I may seem a little young, but I've been in this nutrition game for over 20 years. Um, I started when I was literally 12 years old, I was fat and overweight as a kid and I just wanted to change. And I went on my first diet when I was 12 in full secrecy. And I started training. I became super obsessed with supplements, even to the point where I'm sure a lot of people listening or watching this can relate, but I went through a time period where I took every supplement that every magazine that was being marketed <laughs> to me, I was that guy that was like, I was going to ask you, where did you get your nutritional advice when you were 12? <laughs> it was all trial and error. So my point is, is that's one thing why I think our business model and what mm -hmm. we do is so relatable. And it's made such an impact for everyday people, because this wasn't something that I said, like, oh, I want to go to school to be a nutritionist and I'm going to learn how you should give people food. This was trial and error. And I never had those good genetics. I wasn't that guy that walked around in high school with a six pack eating McDonald's. Like that wasn't me. It was always a struggle. So for, for the first half of my journey, it was literally all trial and error. And the biggest awakening for me was most of this shit doesn't work. Most of these <laughs> diets don't work. Most of these supplements don't work. Mm. And then when I started to learn the people behind it, I'm like, well, wait a second. This guy dishing out diets has had a six pack his entire life. It doesn't matter what he eats or how he eats. He's just selling something to people. And then I learned about the supplement industry. It's not regulated. Nobody regulates it. You could put anything you want and say anything you want on those labels. So that's what, that was my turning point of going, well, wait a second. I'm going to get in the weeds. I'm going to really understand how does food work in the body? What does it do? What do supplements do? What are the supplements that actually work? What do you need? And how can a normal everyday person, not a genetically gifted person, not somebody who comes from a family of, of health nuts, like how, how, how can the everyday person win? And that's what we created. And that's what took me 20 something years to figure out. <laughs> right, because it, you know, with Will's program, it doesn't go really into workout regimens, right? It goes, starts with nutrition. And so many times I think people are thrown off by that. Like, why would we just talk about nutrition? Why aren't we throwing out like, here's your workout plan. Oh, and by the way, here's a small mock-up nutrition plan that I just threw at you. <laughs> like you could do it completely backwards, which is what I really respect and admire about your, your business. Right, right. And thank you for that. And, you know, one of the foundations of when I started was around sports performance nutrition. So I'm excited to talk to, because normally I'm talking to a lot of women, we're talking mo mostly female based stuff, but uh, to be quite honest, one of my passions when I first started was sports performance nutrition. So it has a lot to do with males, enhancing performance, <laughs> enhancing um, lean, lean muscle mass, decreasing body fat, increasing energy, increasing stamina. So there is a very unique science to all of that, which is fascinating because it works, which is so cool. So I'm, I'm excited to talk a lot of, a lot about that stuff today too. Well, talk a little bit about why, when you're working out and you're working out intense, you know, to change your health and wellness, it's, it doesn't really work out so well if it's not backed up with nutrition, right. And how nutrition should almost be the main focus because it is 80% of, of your overall health and, um, you know, to support those results. 
Well, and I think, you know, the, the reality is, and I think this, you know, being a guy, there's a little more ego involved here. And one of the things that we, we learn the hard way is you can't out train a bad diet. And the reason I say that is because mm. more of the victim here is a male. And I'm going to tell you why, because the male body will change faster than a female body. Lean muscle will get built faster. Body fat will get lost, lost faster. We're, we're more adaptive when it comes to training than women are. So naturally, we will, we will lean on the training to change our body before the nutrition, because quite honest, it's way mm -hmm. easier for us to do that. Mm -hmm. And it's more fun because our muscles change right away. Physically, we look different. There's more masculinity involved. There's more testosterone involved. It affects your environment, how people look at you, your confidence levels. So we tend to lean towards training first. But the problem that majority of males hit is you, you've done this and then you hit the wall. And you're like, I can't, now I'm regressing. I don't know how to progress forward. I don't feel that good. I start binge eating. I start eating a lot of food. And because you never had a foundation of nutrition, that's where you could go down a downward spiral and you just start to depend on supplements. You just buy supplements. We're, we're the first person to not hire a coach, to not get a nutritionist mm -hmm. because we think we could just do it all. And I'm just, I, the only reason I say that guys- <laughs> All the wives are agreeing with you. <laughs> well, I only say that because I've done that. Like I've been, I've been through, I've gone through all phases of that mm -hmm. from doing it myself to being reliant on supplements to learning about nutrition, to hiring coaches. I've gone through all the phases and I've worked with so mm -hmm. many people to know we all go through those phases. So if you don't, you're in full denial. If you're not going to agree with me <laughs> right now, because I know you have. So I'm excited mm -hmm. to talk some more about like the granular details of that. I love it. Thanks for sharing that. Will you share a little bit on how nutrition impacts your sexual health? Oh, that is a very, very cool and unique question. So um, that, that can be twofold. That could be at a high level universally and granularly on certain ingredients, herbs, etc. But one of the key things as a guy that, that you have to understand is when your hormones become affected and your testosterone dips, it's, it's, it's so vital to constantly be testing and blood testing yourself. Because when your testosterone, growth hormone, and estrogen becomes imbalanced, a lot of things can wreak havoc on the body. And because we're not as hormone sensitive as women are, it's easy for us to just shelve it and mask it with a Band-Aid. Oh, I'm just going to take more pre-workout. Oh, I just need to buy this supplement. But your you will not you will not outperform your hormones. You won't. It doesn't matter what your training is. It doesn't matter what your food is. It doesn't matter what supplements you take. If your hormones are not in balance as a male, you are going to be on a very slippery slope. So nutrition plays a vital role in that because a lot of the foods we eat, and as a guy, we eat more food than women. So therefore, we're going to take in more of the bad stuff too. So with the foods we're eating, that's why guys, I, I know it's, you know, the ego can, can get in the way sometimes, but food quality is so important. Like organic stuff, gra grass-fed meats, wild-caught fish, cage-free poultry, et cetera. Um, organic vegetables, organic fruits. These aren't, the, the reason these are vital is because guys, what, what's attached to these are things like pesticides, growth hormones, artificial this, artificial that. We ingest more. Our body requires more energy in. Energy in is food in order to put energy out. We can all agree that males put more energy out because of our hormones and our muscle mass. So what comes in becomes very vital. And as a guy, like I said, it's, easy to, it's easier to mask symptoms. So when you're bringing in a lot of pesticides, herbicides, growth hormones, antibiotics that are being put in the animals, your body is trying to detox that out. And if it cannot detox it out properly, it gets into the bloodstream. Once it gets into the bloodstream, it starts to negatively impact your hormones. And the moment your testosterone goes down, so does your sex drive. The moment your growth hormone is, is manipulated, 
So is your sex drive. The moment estrogen is not in balance with testosterone, neither is your sex drive. So that's why food plays a specific role. Now, there are specific foods that can do very specific things for your sex drive, but over encompassing to prevent yourself from getting into a situation, change the quality of your food. 